VCU basketball always catches headlines, but with more than a dozen sports at the university, the athletics department stays busy. Insights' Alex Dynan sits down with VCU athletic director Norwood Teague. Joining us today is VCU athletic director Norwood Teague. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Teague. Thank you for having me. Now, basketball season has just gotten underway, and with its overwhelming success, it seems like a lot of people forget that VCU has other successful sports. My first question to you, sir, is, what would you say is some sports that the fans should keep their eyes on besides basketball? Well, we've, we've had a, a long uh, history uh, of successful Olympic sports over the past 10 or 15 years. Um, soccer's, both men and women, have done extremely well. And our tennis is, obviously, men and women have won probably 15 to 20 uh, CAA championships in the last 15 years. Um, they start this spring. There's certainly two teams that you want to keep your eye on, as well as baseball. Baseball... Uh, won the CAA two years ago, um, has a great history, great tradition. They have probably, you know, it depends on who's up at a certain time, but about five major leaguers playing in, the, in uh, Major League Baseball. Um, so those five, both soccer, tennis, and, and baseball, are successful. Keep an eye on them as, as we go forward. Now, soccer and baseball, I'd like to talk about for a second, not because of the actual teams, but because of the facilities that they play in. Now, the diamond and sports backers seem to be up in air because of the new North Boulevard construction plan. What what is the the situation with these with these facilities? Well, we're planning to um, if the stadium goes down to the to Shaco Bottom to follow the team down there and follow that that owner down there and have a shared facility down in that development, which would be great for VCU baseball. It'd be very special. Um, we have our own locker room and a lot of other facilities down there um, if and when that takes place, and I think it will. Um, they've got to know by March 1 uh, whether they're going to move down there so they can acquire another team. But that will be very important to, to baseball as we, as we move forward. Tennis and soccer. Tennis, of course, plays uh, on campus. Soccer plays at Sportsbacker Stadium. Um, we don't know what will happen out at the Boulevard property as of yet. There's plans to develop at least some of it. It may be a situation where Sportsbacker Stadium stays there and we build a tennis facility out there. We really don't know. It's a little bit up in the air. I think baseball is more immediate. Baseball uh, will happen sooner, and we'll know probably this spring whether we're going to move down the bottom in the in the near future. Now, w with the uncertainty of this, how does do you think it affects the teams? They don't really know where they're going to be or if there will right. be a stadium there. Well, we try to have as as as, uh, as many renderings as we can have, and we try to keep recruits abreast of what's going on. If anything, right now. Right now, um, uh, at this time of, of the year and in, in the evolution of the athletic program, uh, there's a lot of activity out there about whether we go to the bottom, whether we stay at the boulevard. That activity is breeding some excitement. So I think it helps the program right now. Activity is better than just speculation. And um, we're going to have a lot more activity coming up. There's been a lot this fall. And that helps more than it hurts because there's a, a, a real sense of hope. Now, you mentioned the tennis team. They're, they're one of the best in the nation over the past couple of years. The Thalmer Tennis Center, is there plans to upgrade it? Probably not. I mean, we'll, we'll do some small things. We'll, we'll probably have to buy a new bubble, uh, the inflated uh, ceiling that goes over it during the, during the winter. But that's, uh, that's normal maintenance, I guess you could say. There's n there'll be no real improvements there. What we want to do is to build an entire new facility, um, probably featuring eight indoor courts, 12 to 16 outdoor courts, something in that realm. could be really neat, and it also would be a facility that can be used by the city as well. A question that is on many of mine, changing topics, football at VCU. Now that President Trani has said he's going to resign come summertime, what plans have been put in motion to get football at VCU? Are there any plans to get football at VCU? No, there's no real plans right now. Um, what you've read in the paper, like, I think it's just pure speculation. Um, you hear Old Dominion is getting a team. Uh, you hear there's uh, movement from the boulevard and, and what will happen to City Stadium. So it just kind of ruffles up the, the, uh, the idea. But there's no um, plans right now. I mean, I think it's something in, at some point we'll have to study. Of course, we have a new president coming in. That's another factor. But nothing right now. Um, but that's not to say in the future it won't at least be looked at. Are there, are there hopes within the athletic department? I don't know. I think everybody really wants to maximize what we're doing right now and do that really well. Um, I mean, we got a basketball coach in a basketball program that needs a lot and all these other Olympic sports. So we're busy with what we have right now and excited about that. Uh, well, unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Tate. Thanks, Alex. We're going to send it back up to the desk.